G'day, it's James from Espresso Resto, where restored is the new new. So in today's video, we're looking at the 1999 Gajia Baby. Real retro looking piece now, but maybe it was Gajia's vision of the future. I reckon it would look pretty much normal on a Star Wars clone troopers kitchen bench, but there you go, that's just me. It's got a lot of good internals. Basically, you've got a Gajia Classic sitting inside of this plastic lining. Um, so why don't we dive in and have a look at this? So like the Gadget Classic, we've also got a lid at the back to access uh, a funnel to pour water into the, the tank. The tank, I don't think the tank's quite as large as the Classic, but it's good. You can see what water level you've got um, at the moment, max level being up here. At the moment I'm halfway through. On here we've got our um, panel of buttons. So we've got power on. This light here will indicate whether the boiler is element is running or not. This is your brew button and steam. So when I hit the steam, you'll notice that the, um, the power to the elements will come on. Notice that, turn that off. because We're gonna do a brew in a minute. And act, the difference here as well is that the steam is actuated um, on the top of the machine with a knob as opposed to the classic where you have the knob here. You'll see that in, in the other video that I've done once before. I have installed a Ranchilio Silvia steam wand on this, like you can upgrade your Gadget Classics. The baby also can have this upgraded steam wand and I've done that rather than having the Panarello one. Down here, we've got our drip tray. I would say the drip tray here is a little bit cumbersome to empty. First, you need to lift off the uh, the, the steel top and then you have to remove a little rubber piece to then lift the drip tray out so it is a little bit cumbersome to get to but I guess it's all part of the look they were really looking for a look rather than necessarily 100% practicality so that's the machine there I've got it paired next to a Gargia grinder it comes sitting on a, uh, a whole sort of tray with a knockout a drawer so why don't we put it to the test and make ourselves a latte So there you go, a latte from the Gadget Baby 1999 model. I've actually got a more recent version sitting next to it just to give you a bit of a sense of how that, that particular model did evolve. So this one actually has volumetric dosing. So you press a button and it'll run a certain length of shot, which was kind of an upgrade to both the classic and this, this version of the baby. Uh, look, it's still got the plastic. Um, this gauge of plastic got thinner than this one. This one's like really heavy duty. I'd have to say this is kind of like my preferred one of the two, but it's up to you. Until next time, remember, keep caffeinated. <laughs>